Alright, so what's going on guys? We're back at it again. Um, I was trying to find like a unique way to start this video, but I'm gonna go straight to it. This video is gonna be a little bit more raw with it, you feel me? And I want to kind of talk about what inspired this video real quick. Alright, so what inspired this video? What inspired this video? So three and a half years ago, this is how the shop looked. You see all these people? All those people right there. Most of them aren't here anymore. Kind of sad, but it happens. It happens. But if you look to the corner, there I am. I used to sit next to Nate. Now, when it comes to Nate, now that so many people have left, Nate's now the OG of the shop. Doesn't necessarily mean that he's the oldest in the shop, but he's been in the shop the longest, so he's been he's been dubbed the, the OG of the shop. Whether you like it or not, Nate, you're the OG of the shop. Now, sitting next to Nate, was a, it was an interesting experience. This is why, because when you sit next to Nate, the pressure's on. Now I've sat next to other people that give you pressure, right? But when you sit next to Nate, it's not even that he says anything. He doesn't really say much at all. Nate just speaks with, with his eyes, with, with that awkward silence look. Like if you doing something, right, you, you cut him. But you're not cutting to his liking. He's gonna do one of these. That's Nate. So cutting next to Nate, I had to level up. I had to, uh, I had to figure things out. Did I level up to the way he wanted me to? Probably not. Am I there now? Probably not. Anyways, three and a half years ago. So three and a half years ago, walks in the client that I'm about to show you guys. Okay, he walks in and. Remember that inner dialogue that I spoke to you guys about on the last video? I had a lot of that freaking out going on back then, okay? So let's just say I gave him the best cut I could, right? And I faded him, I was the first time he got his beer faded out. Um, I mean, I was, I was willing to do it. And the next time he came back, he went to Nate. And Nate, Nate did what, what OGs do. Lace that man up. Um, he never came back to me. Probably did. He probably did come back to me. I think he came back maybe one more time. But he's he's a bit of a chair hopper. So it's not like he just stayed committed to Nate. He actually just went to everybody else. Fast forward, I think it was about like two months ago, right? Two or three months ago, he came back. And this time he went to Nate, right? Nate did something that I, I, I don't even... It was just the way that he balded his beard out. And I was just like, whoa! So I was like, Nate. You inspired me to do one of these. And I talked to, to Justin and I was like, yo, when you come back, hit me up like a week before and let's set it up. I want to do a video. So anyways, Justin calls and I remember talking to him, but I didn't know it was him. So I was probably cutting. I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, I got you. And that was that. So Christmas Eve comes. In my mind, I'm like, it's going to be a busy day. There's a lot to do. I gotta make it to a Christmas Eve party. I'm completely behind all day, all day. Like, it's not even like 15 minutes. I'm damn near an hour behind. And I'm getting towards the end of the day and I'm like, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. In walks in Justin. I knew I had to make a decision instantly. I probably wasn't gonna make the Christmas Eve party. And this is why. So this is my station right here, okay? I got the lights. This camera will be mounted right here. One day I'll show you the whole setup. I just, right now, I'm just trying to get through this video as fast as possible. So just work with me, guys. Work with me. Now, obviously, my channel's not known for tutorials. It's pretty much new. And I'm not used to it yet. I, it doesn't come naturally to me. It takes a while. My service as a barber, when I include having to record, my service is long as it's so long that you you might have to call your family members and be like i might not make it make it home on time let's just say this just was here for a long 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 time i don't even, i feel embarrassed even talking about it. i don't even want to say how long it was i say that to say this there's some people that feel that if something takes too long they give up please don't you gotta push through that shit. you gotta push through that shit telling you it pays off and I, i'm somebody that's doubted myself a lot but i will say this that at the end of the day when you release your work whether it be cutting hair or making videos it's it's rewarding because you get it done all right so this video is more so to tell you guys that it took me a long ass time to create it between recording and editing and all this stuff like it takes a long long time but don't 
don't give up. Justin, thank you so much for sitting down that long on my chair, bro. Like, I'm talking about up to the point where my man had to take bathroom breaks and everything. It was, what? But you know what? He knew what was up. He believed in the vision. So shout out to my boy, Justin. Actually, he makes music. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave his information on the on the description box. Make sure you show that man some love. Check his music out, and uh, let's get this video started. Jay his finna drop the. Base. All right, so right here, I'm gonna grab the comb and go ahead and go through the hair, take out the knots, because if you go ahead and go straight to it with the balding clippers, it's gonna be uncomfortable for them. And as you, as as the barber, it's gonna be uncomfortable for you. You don't want your, your clippers going through that. And you don't want the client going through that. So please comb your client out, all right? And then after that, after we ball them out, after we make that line, we're gonna grab the, the shavers, okay? Go ahead and smoothen that out a little bit. Now, normally, I shave the whole thing off in this case i wanted to do something unique leave the rest for last the bottom half and uh right now i'm debulking with the number three guard it right there hold up that is the picture i was talking about where nate did that that bald line on justin's beard and look at that look at that that was crazy and to think this guy does not have a youtube channel and he he took it and just flipped it i think if i find the picture i'll post it on what it looks like after and even then nate didn't even feel like it was all that oh and i just want to add this too the reason i brought that picture up and showed it to the camera is because i wasn't sure how much i was supposed to take off because i'm very conservative when it comes to trying something i normally don't do so it's more so like let's take the safe route with nate obviously when you're a little bit more seasoned you just go straight to it you're a little bit more of a risk taker More than that, Nate? More? Oh my goodness. No cat, no cat. Nate is probably like right here with it. Golly. Like an inch more in. Like you Good Nate, Lord. Like I'm trying not to give a f like Nate right now. There you go. All this off? Because trust me, all that right there that, you got, that you're doing, it's still going to line up. You're still going to be able to catch that line. Yeah? Yeah, bro. All right, so after going through that little bit of a headache and asking Nate, is this enough? We're gonna check both sides. And after checking both sides, we're gonna go ahead and continue with this haircut. We got the masters all the way open. We're gonna make that section, baby. We're gonna make that section. And we're gonna go all the way through with this section. Some people are comfortable doing half and half. I just wanna make my section all the way through. Um, you know, it's about, a, about, about an inch, I guess. That's about an inch. And after creating that section, we're gonna go straight to closing the lever midway. And for some reason, I don't know why, this is taking me about a while. I don't know. I don't know if it was because his hair was, was curly for a while and I felt like there were some dark spots that I could not get rid of for a while.
right now I'm going ahead and getting the number one guard all the way open because that's how I always start I start all the way open and then from all the way open close um that was me just double checking that I was all the way open I tend to do that a lot So it's the same guard, number one, all the way closed. I'm going through my sections. I, I tend to do it all the way through like, like a typewriter. Just go all the way through and then come back. And there I have the zero guard. All the way open. All the way open. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. There it is. You see the dark spot? It's right there. It took me forever. Forever. Forever to get that out man look at that it's like a oh my goodness and, and this is where i start getting frustrated i could tell already i could tell already i'm i'm just trying to get it out of there i went from the zero to all the way open to mid to figuring it i don't even know at this point i'm I, i'm pacing you see how my shoulder keeps getting on the way i'm pacing i'm pacing look oh my goodness oh my goodness and to think we were there for a while okay and it, at this point i got tired of the masters i'm like i need a break i need something lighter in my hand so i got the magic clips and i had the babless one and a half guard oh right I, well damn switched it real quick okay now we're down to the one we're down to the one guys we're down to the one and i'm trying to get all the angles in baby oh i even brought out the shears look at that i don't even know why i brought out the shears I, I'm, pr I'm probably just trying to calm myself down right now Okay, we're back to the Clippers, baby. We're back to the Clippers. <laughs> Shit. Okay, we brought down. We brought out the number three, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. We're just wasting time. We're just wasting time, Fonz. The number two. Okay. The number two. <laughs> Damn, we're just wasting time. Back to the one and a half. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, we're in this we're, we're and we're going through the same area. Oh my goodness. Wow Wow Fonz, please move go somewhere else. Let it let it be. Let it be you can come back. Okay. Okay Woo! Move it on baby. You gotta move on. Oh That was that was the half guard on the on the magic clips and then now we are all the way to the no guard, all the way open. And then now, oh wow, okay. And we are to the trimmers. So it was no guard, all the way open, midway, closed, trimmers. And now we're to back to the no guard. Man, I have no system, guys. This, for those that are watching this thinking that you're gonna learn something, you're just learning that I know nothing. I know nothing at all, at all. I'm learning something about myself as I watch this that I need to get it together. Cause right now I'm just wasting a lot of time. <laughs> Damn, this is crazy. Come on, baby, let's get it together. Man, I need to really, I need to, I need to be one with myself when I cut hair. I just lose it. I just go for it. I just go with what I think goes best and I go for it, but I lose a lot of time doing this. A lot of time. You know how there's chair hoppers? There's clipper hopping going on right now. I'm clipper hopping. It's the battle of the masters and the magic clips. I'm just all over the place. And you know, this is frustrating because I'm all over the place in an area I shouldn't even be in. I should be trying to debulk. There we go. We're debulking now. 
thank you because there was a lot of dark spaces that we needed to debulk and right now look like i'm why look just go a little bit higher fonts 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 why are you down there go up some just go up a little bit come on look we're on the crown area look it's dark up there the, why are you that why are you on the side a little bit higher bro come on let's get it let's get it go up there we go okay all right so check this out you have to be aware of the tools that you're using i think i hurt him if you saw his eyes he squinted a little bit and that's why i had a feel i was like damn i i didn't i didn't notice that this this cone was that sharp so i'm throwing away that comb barbers just be aware of the tools you use Okay, so right here, I grab my masters, and this is where the challenge begins. We have the masters all the way open, no guard, but fading out of beard, by far to me, it's just a different ball game. The angles are different. Right here, I mean, I, as I started, I felt like I, it, it wasn't bald enough. His hair is so thick, man. Even with going through the shaver, you can still see there's some spots that were still dark. Let's speed it up a little bit though. Um, this whole process does take me a long time. And uh, right here we're, we're switching to the number one guard all the way open. And we're trying to debulk. I think the highest that I take it with the, the magic clips is about like a one and a half to a two. Now to me, running the number one guard uh, in this specific occasion under the chin is very important because I'm about to line it up in a little bit and I like that area to be a little bit as tight as possible. So when I line them up, it comes out as crispy as possible. So like right here, as you can see, I brush the hair downward and I come back with the trimmers and I'm starting to set the line up. 
Um, I do the, the, the lineup before I clean everything underneath and then I come back and line it up or redefine the line. Jay his finna drop the f bass. See right here, I'm just uh, cutting that that the hair down as much as I can, coming back with the spray, letting that dry off, and then working on the beard as I'm letting the spray dry off on the hairline. This, I proceeded with caution. I'm checking my mirror and then I go and proceed with caution on the other side. And this is why you don't want to stress too much on the fade, even though I did, because after you line them up, you're going to see things that you normally didn't see before because you're, that's when you, you're framing your work guys do the best you can, but keep moving because now I'm starting to see things. Now I'm starting to, to clear out certain areas that I didn't see like right now, right? I'm, I'm trying, it's not going anywhere, but I'm trying, I'm trying. little bit at a time goes a long way I don't zero gap my trimmers I get it just close enough just about zero gap but not really there's a little bit of space between the blades my trimmers are set to where I can use them on kids because I didn't want a whole bunch of different trimmers uh, I tried that that's a headache it's not for me I want to use the same trimmers on everybody and right here I'm trying to I'm not saying I'm trying to go for a C cup per se, but I wanted to see how it looked. It didn't look that bad. It's not a defined line. Uh, really on one side, you can't even tell. And then right here, you know, I'm trying to clear out those caterpillars. He's got a, he on the video, he had them like me. I gotta get my eyebrows done. What y'all think? Let me know in the comments below if you think I should get my eyebrows done soon. Should I get them razor? Should I get them threaded? Should I get them um, waxed? You let me know. Minimal pressure, guys. Tap, 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 clean. I and look, he's even helping me. Usually, with clients that I that I've been cutting for a while, the tap on the area lets them know, hey, I need you to either blow the cheek out, bring your mustache down, and and that's useful, guys. Train your clients. Uh, there's barbers that don't want to train their clients; they just want to do it all themselves, and that's cool too. 
because you you know you want to give your clients a different experience it's all on the experience and what you want to give them what do you think just cut it off chop that shit <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so right here, I'm just finishing off doing some detail work because obviously I couldn't catch it in the beginning, but that's what detail work is for. You come back at the end and do a little fin finishing touches. And that's it right there, guys. What do you think? I think that even though it took an eternity, it looks great. He loved it. I loved it. Let me know if you loved it. If you didn't, still let me know. It's cool. And um, yeah, make sure you subscribe. Turn your notifications on and I'll see y'all next time. Jay Hiss finna drop the base.